Hey everyone, you might notice something a little bit different about this video. You're in 360 degrees and it's interactive. You can move wherever you want and see whatever you want by turning the camera angle. So if you're on your phone, you can tilt it or drag it with your finger however you want. Or if you're on a PC, you can click and drag it wherever you want. The reason we're doing this today is because we want to see what it's like to be inside of a spherical mirror. So I have a 360 degree camera that you're looking through. And this is what I dress the camera up to look like. So you'll notice that you look like kind of a cyclops person. This is so that you'll better be able to see what the mirror is reflecting when you're inside of it. Now I did a video about a 360 degree mirror before and posted it on YouTube. And one of the highest rated comments, it had over 30,000 thumbs up, was saying what would it look like to have a 360 degree camera inside of a spherical mirror. So today we're going to be doing that. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the two hemispheres of the spherical mirror and slowly move them in the front and back of you. So you can look around and see one coming towards you from the front and one coming towards you from the back. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, here we go. At this point, you're standing right in the middle of the spherical mirror, and it's just black, but not because there's not light inside. In fact, if we do it again with a light, you'll still see mostly blackness at the center. For example, let me put this light in here with you and notice how it still gets dark. So I'm just gonna put this light on top of you in here. Okay, now it'll stay light inside, and I'm gonna enclose you in the spherical mirrors again with you right in the center. So now inside of here again, even with a light on our head, we still see darkness. You can kind of make out some faint images and you can kind of see some scratches and smudge prints on there. But other than that, you can't really see anything. It's just kind of a black image with a faint body image. So notice it's bright inside of there, but it still looks black wherever you look. Now let me show you why it looks so black. So I have just one half of the spherical mirror. Watch what happens when I move you close just to the one half. So you shouldn't be looking at my face right now. Look at the spherical mirror. Right there. So what you're looking at is your own eye. Notice how the black thing you're looking at is the eye. So in this case, you're seeing the camera lens. In real life, you'd be seeing your own pupil. So right at the center of a spherical mirror when you're inside of it, you'd see your own pupils. Okay, now let's do something a little bit different. Instead of being at the center of the spherical mirror, you're gonna be inside this half here, and then I'm gonna set the other half on top of you. I'm gonna put a light in there so you can see. <laughs> Look at that great view of yourself. <laughs> okay, here we go, coming down on top. Okay, it's completely closed now. So this is a little bit different than being in the center. You can actually make out your body now. I'm gonna turn off the outside lights so that you don't see the gap around it. Okay, let's do the same thing now. Here we go. So 
now you can see yourself in all your glory. <laughs> Look how weird that looks. Okay, now I'm going to remove it. Okay, so another cool thing to try is to see what happens when you come closer to the hemisphere of the spherical mirror and try to stick something inside of it. There we go. Notice how you're upside down right now. But if you go in a little more, then you see yourself right side up again. So now you're almost touching the back of the spherical mirror. And if I move you out again, you flip over, and then you're upside down again. Now what's interesting is watch what happens when you stick something inside of the spherical mirror. It looks like it's popping out to touch you. And it can even go into itself. I'll put a link to another version of this video that explains everything in a little bit more detail on my main channel. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did and you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time.